Hello everyone, welcome to part 204 of Advanced Ecom series in Laravel 8. So we will continue working on the wishlist functionality. In last video we have seen that we able to add remove wishlist product from the wishlist button. Here you can see we able to remove product remove from your wishlist. Product added in your wishlist. Okay. So we are doing this instantly with the help of Ajax. Okay. So now it's the time to show the wishlist page. Okay. So we need to create the wishlist page uh, similar to the card page. Like uh, we are having the card page. This is our card page. So the similar page we are required for the wishlist. So the icon we uh, the link we are going to add somewhere here. We can add the wishlist link. Okay. So user can click on that wishlist link and user can view able to view all their wishlist products as well. Okay. So we are going to do are going to show all the wishlist product or the user wishlist product otherwise the user will not come to know that which products he has added in his wishlist okay like uh, the user added this product and user may have added another product okay this one is also there in wishlist or uh, we need to find that which another product is this one is is in wishlist this one is also so we don't know exactly how many products in the user wishlist of user id 1 okay so uh, so we need to have the page where user can uh, uh, can check out his wish list and can add the wish list product to his card okay uh, for the further purchase uh, or uh, can view the wish list product okay so the user can able to manage his wish list product user can able to view them user can able to delete them okay so we uh, need to have the wish list product page so let's start creating that page First of all, we are going to add its link at front header. Uh, in this file, uh, right uh, in front of the orders, we are going to create one more link here. And here we will simply create wishlist link. Okay. So here we are going to add wishlist. And this route we are going to add in web.php file we are going to add this term route under auth group okay so that this route is only visible to those users who logged in okay it's not for the uh, users who are not logged in but because wishlist is only uh, logged in users can able to add the product in their wishlist okay so we are going to add on the, under auth front group here we are going to add user wish list products okay so we are going to show the user wish list products here route get we are going to use the get route and we'll make the url wish list okay and its function we are going to create under press controller wish list function we are going to create under press controller okay so let's create this function under press controller let's open the press controller at the front so we can create uh, its function similar to card function let's check out the card function so in the similar way we are going to create the wishlist function okay oh here it comes okay so we are going to create uh, this wishlist function here i am going to give its name nothing to pass here okay so here uh, we are going to create dollar user wishlist okay so the another function we are going to create uh, in our next step and that we are going to create under wishlist model okay so that is user wishlist okay so to get the wishlist products of the user of the logged in user okay so see meta title meta description will remain the same if you want to uh, create the meta title and all okay like uh, it's the wishlist of the e-commerce website okay uh, wishlist of the e-commerce website you can uh, create this or you can left it empty as well if you are not sure this is related with the SEO okay because I am writing because here we have already given this one so I'm just going to copy this one and paste here okay so here uh, you can 
just make it view wish list okay of e-commerce website and here also wish list okay so the blade file we are going to create uh, uh, here wish list okay wish list blade file we are going to create and in that uh, user wish list uh, we are going to send okay we can make it also we can make it user wish list items okay to make it more meaningful user wish list items it looks good user wish list items okay and here also user wish list items so let's create uh, its uh, uh, function in wish list model okay so here we are going to create the function public static function uh, function name is user wish list items okay so here uh, is same we are going to use like this so we are going to use here wish list model and here uh, we are going to combine it with the uh, product okay uh, it is related with the product as well because we only have the product id in wish list here you can see we only have in the product id in wish list so we need to get the product details so we need to add the relation uh, here okay uh, so uh, there is another function we are going to make but first of all i am going to have this relation with product okay but uh, this relation we have not added so far uh, but we are, I'm going to add this relation after this uh, after creating this function. So here, just simply add the where condition uh, where user ID user ID uh, must be logged in so we can get from the auth user ID. Okay, ID and uh, and we are going to show the last added product at the top okay and for that we are going to use the order by id descending okay we are going to show the last added uh, products uh, at the top of the wish list okay so we are going to use here get and then to array we are going to convert it to array as well so this list we are going to return dollar user id okay so another function we need to create here that is we need to create the product relation belongs to relation we are going to create okay uh, so this is required public function product so this relation we are going to add here return dollar this and belongs to relation we are going to add here same we have done earlier for the card functionality as well in the beginning of the e-commerce series so here now we are going to create the relation with the wish list table okay like this so same we are using here so we can just uh, want to get just uh, limited data from the prex table we don't want to get the whole data so we can add the sub query here okay so it's your wish if you want to add the sub query otherwise it will work fine as well but it's better if we can only get the data we require okay so we can add the sub query here dollar query here like this and inside this uh, we will do dollar query and we will only select the data that we require like uh, uh, id product name the product name and after that uh, product code okay and other than that is the product color as well if you want okay otherwise uh, uh, okay let's uh, go for product color as well uh, then product price main price we are going to show because we have not selected any size of the wish list okay so also the main image okay if we want to show the image as well then main image we are going to show okay so this one we are going to end it with semicolon and here we need to add the square brackets to close it okay so now uh, uh, now we need to update this uh, let's see okay uh, so now we need to create that wish list blade file okay so our relation is ready function is ready so now we need to create this wishlist blade file 
uh, similar to the card blade file we can just simply open that card blade and we will also open that uh, card underscore items okay where we have all the items okay so these two files so first one we are going to make it wish list okay wish list dot blade dot php and in next one is the file save as wish list items okay we are going to make it wish list item like this okay so we need to make the required changes here like here a wish list must come like this okay so total card items we are going to replace it with the uh, we need to create the function for this one uh, but right now we will not do anything we are going to uh, remove this right now okay and uh, we are going to just simply use the count here and uh, here in wishlist bit file we are going to check uh, that how we are sending we are sending this uh, uh, user wishlist item so uh, we can simply do it like this so that to count that how many uh, items are coming in an array so that's why we use the array we convert to uh, from json to array because uh, then we can use these functions as well okay so now see uh, coming down uh, this coupon code is not required in the wishlist page so that you can remove this one and also next step is not required so uh, and this id is also not required so we can only keep here the wishlist items okay so wishlist items we will keep it like this so here also we need to make some changes so here only a uh, few things product description and instead of quantity update we will show the view and delete view and delete here and uh, after that uh, the this one we can remove price this okay so that is enough so here instead of user card items we are uh, going to use the user wish list card items here okay so here uh, we will not use uh, this uh, attribute price uh, okay so we can remove so this one we can keep size is not there we can remove the size as well so here uh, we can keep only view and lead okay so uh, for that uh, we can uh, remove the unwanted things and here uh, we can just simply keep this one and this uh, uh input button item delete is fine quantity we are not required this quantity <coughs> uh, this input also we are not required just we can keep this one and we can remove this unwanted data we can remove okay so like this okay uh instead of uh, this one we can use i file icon file and uh, nothing to update right now okay so <coughs> uh, so and here also few more things we are required to update here here uh, we have the main price so main price uh, we can get in the similar way like uh, from the product uh, main uh, table okay so we can just make it product price uh, attribute price we will not show and these tds we are going to remove okay so and this condition also we are going to remove so and these uh, are also not required so we remove all unwanted code that we are not required okay so now we will save and we will try to refresh this one which list link is there i am going to click this link and you can see that these four items we have added in our wish list so far and all four items we able to view in our wish list page okay so uh, we can uh, do one thing we can uh, remove uh, one of the items from the wish list okay and we will uh, remove and we are going to add to check out so i will remove this item like this product removed from your wish list okay so it's removed so here i'm going to refresh to see see only three products have left okay so i will remove one more product and i can go there 
you can remove this red t-shirt also see this one product removed from your wish list and let's see yes product has been removed okay uh, but make sure uh, that it's also updated here okay so it's fine so we able to update the uh, we able to show all the products uh, in user wish list user can simply click on this link and can able to view all their wish list here you can see the two items are there in the user wish list okay so this one is also not required because continue shopping is uh, there at the top so we can also remove this link as well okay so it's fine now we can refresh okay so uh, this is the wish list page and in next video we are going to work on the view and delete functionality delete we are going to do with ajax we are going to delete the wishlist product instantly from the wishlist page okay so that thing we are going to do in next video so stay tuned for that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye